Ah, all good. All right, now we are here. Liquid measures, one point twenty six. Wow, I know. I say that every time, but it just doesn't seem keeps getting. Doesn't seem like we've done that many. Anyway, we've got a special guest tonight, Julio Perez. Julio, thanks yes. for coming out, dude. Like right. we said, you know, you want to be on the show. We're going to put you on the show. We will get you in here, and we will get you to drinking beer. Yes, because we like to drink beer. And who would who would turn down free beer? Exactly. I mean, That's my point. Who would turn down free beer? Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, tonight we've got a special treat. The Holy Grail of Hopheads, this is called. Dogfish Head 120 Headed IPA. <laughs> oh, Hopheads. This, this, oh. mean, this means that Jason's going to absolutely hate it or yeah. absolutely love it, one of the two. It better be good because I hate IPAs. Now, Jason has had 90 minute IPA and it wasn't too shabby. What too bad. He hasn't partook of the 120 minute. So I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm really waiting to enjoy Julio this. Julio here is all new to this entire craft brew type thing. So, you know, we're, we're hoping to get an opinion for someone that hasn't drunk all this stuff before. That's that's why we've got Julio here. Plus, the man won't pass up free beer. Come on, you know, right? Right? Yeah. So, this stuff is, is wonderful to me. I'm the IPA man. Everybody knows that. I love them. I love them. I love them. I'll talk all night. Jason will have to shut me up. Yeah. 120 minute IPA. That means that during the boil, it has been continuously hopped for 120 minutes. That means hops have went into the boil for 120 minutes. Break it down for you. That's two hours. That's two hours. Two hours. On top of this, on no, top of still this, do math. it sits <laughs> exactly a little bit when it's conditioning. It sits on hops. When it sit, I actually sit in a chair. When I yeah, I do too. I do, I do too. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah. you know whatever you got to do. So you know, I got a lot of I got a lot of condition, so it takes a while. So you know, why? Also, while it's sitting there waiting to be bottled, it's laying on leaves of hops. So this is going. To, this is this is uh, going to be wonderful. Jason's going to hate it with a passion. Yeah, I'm probably not going to like it. And, so, but I love dogfish heads. So you know. It's it's brewed to uh, used to be around twenty to twenty two percent alcohol. This is a fairly new brew. From what I've heard, they cut it back to about eighteen. So we're going to say eighteen to twenty percent alcohol. How dare you cut it back? Well, they said to balance it out more oh, okay. to, to make it drink more like a beer than to drink more like a sherry or something. Like okay. that. So that makes sense. I, I'll give them that. They know what they're doing. So we'll try yeah, I'm not going to explain because, you know, Dr. Shed, you know what you're doing with your beer. We they, really enjoy it. They have yet to disappoint me, so we're going to pop this top. If you notice the green top with the warning label, that means it's high gravity. It's This is some bumpy stuff. And a little high. there we go. A little we're high. We're good. You can already smell it. Julio, about a third for Jason there. Well, it's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. I'm just going to pour it because I want to see what it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 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 There, there's, there's a little sliver left for you. Well, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. Don't hold out on Don with the IBS. I know. I can already smell sunflowers. And I've got a cold. I mean, that's that's straight up flowery to me. What you got, Jason? It, I got that it smells like an IPA. <laughs> that's what it smells like. You get the sunflowers in there, dude? Yeah, I get some. That yeah. smells. I mean, I smell a little sweet in there, too. Exactly, exactly. It, what would you call it? But. It's sweet. That's exactly yeah. what you... I mean, it, it's a sweet smell. It smells like most IPAs do. Anytime you brew a high-gravity beer like that, that means there's more unfermented sugars in the brew, which makes it taste a little more sweet. So that's why the 60 minutes more bitter than the 120 minute, the 100 or the 90 minute rather, the 120 is a little sweeter than the 90 minute. And he hasn't even been drinking a lot yet either. And yeah, I'm telling you. I almost get like a melon... Yes. A melon and then like a sharp 
alcohol. Yeah, there's an alcohol. Yeah, there's yeah, a, alcohol. You can you can smell that nice sweetiness in there. I'm just hoping that it. I'm hoping that you know the 120 minute brewing process takes out some of the bitterness so I can enjoy it. Well, what I say is drink up. We got to drink it. I mean, you, it's it's the it's unfiltered. Yeah, you can tell that it's unfiltered. Pours well. Lacing, you can't even talk about it because I mean it's just stuck to the side of the glass. Yeah. All the way down. I mean, it's 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 glorious thing in my opinion. So I think we just need to taste yeah, it for Let's us. just taste it. And see what we got. Wow. Well, I'm looking at you because you hate IPA. It don't taste like an IPA. <laughs> Uh, it's not bitter at all. I don't. I don't get a bitterness to it at all. There's not a because normally an IPA, I'll, I you know I'll make the beer face. I'm like, oh god. The bittering units does not mean that it's going to taste bitter. That's right. just how much hops this thing is brewed with. It's to me. What was the What was the IBU on this? 120 one? IBU. There we go. So it's the highest IBU IPA on the market right now. It's my favorite IPA on the market. Period. It's I, I can say that too. <laughs> right true. now. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite IPA on the market. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. But at the now, once it's settled down, it tastes like a shot of liquor at the back of my throat. Yes. It's definitely high gravity. You can taste the alcohol. The yeah. alcohol is definitely there. It's out. It, it, yes. it warms you when it hits the back. So yeah. that's why with this, you want to share it with folks. Yeah. You don't want to sit down and drink. 12 ounces of these, you wind up like me trying to write, write a review on it and be like, ah. Uh, beer. Yeah, it's beer. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, think almost 12 ounces would probably do the trick. Yes, of this. 12 ounces would do the trick of this. I will promise you, I've been there. Okay. <laughs> it's a little swigs like a mini shot. Yeah, it, it is. is. You know, it, that's what, you know, that's what the high grab beers are about. They're, they're about enjoying the beer. Yes. And not drinking mass quantities to get hammered. And sitting back and enjoying the taste of it, because this is a sipper. I mean, you know, you, yeah. can, you can sit around at dinner, sip this like a fine wine. I mean, it's 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 wonderful flavor. Jason's not making the IPA face. Yeah, so that yeah, says I'm a lot. Right it does, because I usually I'm, you know, usually I'm ready to pass it off and say, hey, anybody else want to give this a try? But, <laughs> but this is this is all right. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, for for a high gravity IPA. Yeah. It just don't get any better in my Yeah, opinion. to me it's almost like it, it shouldn't even be classified in the in the IPA classification as far as taste. As far as taste. Now, you know, with the way it's brewed, yes, it's an IPA. It's, but as far as taste wise, it's it don't taste like an IPA it's a at all. Heavy Imperial IPA. Yeah. I mean it's it's up there. But man, I mean, it's just wonderful to me. It's it's one of my favorite beers out there. I can't afford to drink it a lot. That's why I buy two bottles at a time. <laughs> this bottle was, yeah. these were given to me by a good friend. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Very um, much. You know, we can't get it in Tennessee. Dogfish. <laughs> Come back. Come back. But. We, we will not go into the Tennessee legislature again. We, we do this a lot because <coughs> you're basically screwing us over from having great beer. And uh, I still say we go visit Dogfish Head Brewery sometime. I'm, I'm all go, for it. Yeah. We've got to go to Delaware. We're, we're, we're making some road trips. There's a few places that we have to go. Um, we got to make a Delaware trip for the Dogfish Head. And evidently, you know, Kid Rock has his own beer now, the American Badass Lager. So we, go to we, we have to go to Michigan. So now we have to take a trip to Michigan yes. to run up there and get some beer. I've actually got family in Detroit, so that would be a good trip for me anyway. Oh, there we go. So, yes. So now we have a free place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, Mike? We're coming yeah. to see you, buddy. <laughs> have us some beer ready. Yeah. Oh, he will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he Let's... will. He will. Well, guys, we're going to finish this one up. I've got to give it, If in the IPAs, it's a 10 of 10, if not an 11 of 10. Overall, it's a 10. This is one of my favorite beers. It's just... I, I can't give it any marks off. It's got everything I like in a beer. It's it's smooth. It's It's got the perfect blend of hops, sweet. It's it's just it's the perfect beer for me. That's just all there is to it. So it gets 10 all the way around for me. It's a, it's a really great beer. I'm not going to lie about it. It really is. Um, and by it not tasting 
like an IPA, that made me really, really happy. And the, 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 just the taste everywhere was good for me. I enjoyed the, the little bit of the fruitiness, a little bit of the sweetness. I'm actually enjoying the, the warming, almost like a shot of liquor yes. when, it, when it's going down because it's not overpowering like a normal shot of liquor was. You know, I, I hate when I, when I taste something and it lays me back and everybody's looking at you and I'm going, what the hell did you just drink? <laughs> you know, so, yeah. but... <laughs> oh, he's made the face. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, has yeah. made the face. Yeah, I will make it. I don't, I don't care one bit. Oh, yeah. Indica. That was the one that you made the face of. Yeah. Oh, Indica. Was, yeah, 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 that was oh. horrible. Horrible. But as far as giving it a 10, it's not a perfect beer. You know, I have not drank the perfect beer yet. The, you know, it's, it's not a Palo Santo Marone. Because oh. the sunshine didn't ray out when I tried it. But the Palo, <laughs> the, the Palo Santo Marone is the perfect beer. This to me is also a perfect beer. Right. So they both got a ten. Yeah. Uh, they really do. But it, it but it's really good. It really is good. It's a, it's a great beer, and I'm you know I want to drink more of it. Uh, you know I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna drink more of it. Uh, yeah. But I'm I'm still gonna I'm still gonna give it a nine. You know, it, it's still Whoa, a nine. Yeah. You rated an IPA a nine? It's, it, yeah, because it don't taste like an IPA. There you go, folks. It don't taste like an IPA, so I'm, I'm happy with it. There you go. You know. What you got for us, Julio? Well, honestly, man, I don't know much about it, but it's really good beer, thick, good taste. There you go. Lager, thick beer. It's an ale, actually, but yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really a, good, good tasting. That's not what I expected. Is it really make me do that nasty frown there you that y'all been talking about? There you go. Yeah. yeah. I would drink it again. There we go. So everybody knows that. Everybody knows the beer face. At one time, normally early in your beer drinking career, you will drink that beer and you will just make that horrible beer face and be like, ah, oh, why am I drinking this? But that's wonderful. This will make you do it. It's, it's really good. I'm really happy. I'm really trying not to talk more because you know how I'll go on about uh, this. Go, man. Go on. Yeah. So uh, now that we've given the marks, let's just go ahead and end this episode or I will sit and talk about 120 minute IPA for an hour and y'all will all watch it and it'll be horrible. So I'm not. I'm Jason. William. And this is Liquid Measures. Look us up next time. If you don't like it, it's not our fault. I like beer cause it is good. I drink beer because I should. If there was a song to sing, I sing it and beer you drink. I drink beer when I am sad.